In this video we will generate the digital terrain model, contour lines and obtain profiles with MDT. We start by creating a surface. To do this, we run the command with this name, and press the layers button to choose the layers of the drawing that contain break lines. We can select them or load a previously created file. Next, we choose the layer that defines the limits of the triangulation. We accept the changes and see that the surface has been drawn automatically. We can consult its properties using the surface information command. Now let's edit the triangulation by modifying the point joints. We expand the area of interest using the find point command. Observing in the drawing the union of points 46 and 32, we see that it would be better adapted to the terrain by joining points 45 and 31. Using the insert line command we make this change. Next, we will proceed to obtain some cuts that will immediately indicate the status of the formation of the digital model. The quick profile command allows us to obtain a representation of the terrain profile from two or more points, being able to change the vertical factor to exaggerate the differences in elevation. The next step is the generation of the contour lines with the desired interval, which in our case is half a meter between minor contours and two and a half between major contours. Initially, we disabled the smoothing option. Let's now visualize in detail the effects of modeling through its representation by contour lines. We see how the contour lines near point 27 are curled and there is a break between points 31 and 48. To correct the latter, we insert a triangulation line between these points, and observe that both triangulation and contour lines are instantaneously modified. Then we proceed to label the contour lines with their elevations. We set two decimal places and a suitable text size for labels. Press the auto button and observe how the ends of the major contours are labeled. We run the command again, with the manual option which allows us to label contour lines at the designated points. With the label elevation commandway label the current elevation of the terrain at the desired point. Finally WE proceed to smooth the contour lines indicating the most appropriate factor for our project. MDT offers various methods for the creation or import of horizontal alignment let's show one of them with the draw alignment command. This utility allows us to designate the vertices graphically or enter their coordinates. Initially we will create an alignment with a curve between two lines logically composed of four vertices. To facilitate learning way we'll type the coordinates of the vertices. After entering the last one press enter and the dialog appears where we can assign its name project speed and category. We activate the export option and request the name of an alignment file. We now run the list alignment command designated graphically and disable the interval so that only the critical sections are displayed. We now turn to obtaining the cross sections from the newly created alignment. The Create Cross Sections command asks us to select the alignment and the dialog to enter the parameters as displayed. 
We specify 40 meters left and right and an interval of 2 meters we also leave the option to draw profiles activated. You can see the parameters for drawing the cross sections we validate the option so that they will be drawn in model space at 200 scale and without a specific paper format. We see that the profiles of the terrain have been drawn correctly labeling its stations numbering and elevations on the alignment. MDT also allows you to review profiles one by Aneto edit them if necessary to do this we run the review cross sections command. The powerful profile editor is shown which allows us to quickly move forward and backward between all the profiles in the file. Next, we will generate the long section of the alignment, in the same way that we have proceeded with the cross sections. Again, we select the alignment in the command to obtain the long section. We leave the default parameters so that you can do the sampling with all the cuts and critical sections and that after calculating draw the profile. We modify the vertical scale and designate the origin to place the drawing. We verified that the long section of the terrain has been drawn. Now let's edit the horizontal alignment and update the profiles. To do this, we execute the edit vertex command and select the first intersection. We modify the radius and accept the changes. MDT will automatically update the profiles of the drawing, both the long and cross sections. Finally, we are going to label the station and elevation information on certain points of interest on the long section drawn. The command label points in profile asks us for the parameters, which we validate. We select the profile graphically, designate several points and check that their stations and corresponding elevations are labeled. 